too hot. It's really hot. Welcome to Generation Strength teaches you things in unbearable heat. What are we talking about today? Some squat kind of accessory stuff. Squat accessories? Squat yeah. accessories. Sure. Squat accessories. Alright. Some of our favorite. Yeah. Generation Strength's favorite squat accessories to build big squats. Big legs, big hips, big squats, big weights. Probably not going to be that favorite though. I don't care. It's not about what you like. It's about what will get you a squat. You know what's cooler than squatting cool? Squatting big. I don't know. Jesus Christ. Everybody wants to win until they lose for the first time. <laughs> Chris, what are all these toys for? Goblet squat. <laughs> cool. Let's do goblet squats. <laughs> I don't know what everyone wants to do. All right. So uh, we're going to demonstrate a goblet squat for you. This is a pretty simple accessory exercise that you can do uh, with just about anything in any sort of gym that you're in. So I'm going to show you how to do it. Brian's going to tell you how to do it. OK. So this is a front rack. Uh, preferably with kettlebells, but everyone has access to dumbbells. Not everyone has access to kettlebells, so we're going to show you the dumbbell. So, goblet style, right here, hold this, and you're going to sit down in your squat. How wide should my stance be? Uh, your normal squat. Normal stance. squat stance? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Nice and deep, nice into the hole. Spread the back, spread the knees, open the hips, get down there. This is one variation. Really important part of this though, since we have this, we have this dumbbell out in front of us, we're really, really focusing on trying to stay upright. As much as, as upright as we can and keep those hips stacked underneath us. We don't want to come down like this and we don't want that kettlebell to be way out in front of us. We want the dumbbell right here, right up against our body, keep our hips stacked underneath it and sit into our hips, come back up. Think about, like, if you've never done these, but you've done front squats, it kind of feels like that. Yeah. Like, you're, you're fighting everything to stay, keep your thoracic spine extended, and get there right down into the hole and come back up. Yep, so if you're somebody that can't perform actual front squats with a barbell, this would be a really good uh, regression for you. So, as you said, we prefer, we prefer to do these with kettlebells. Yeah. Really simple. You get two kettlebells oh. here. Your front rack. And we get into a front rack position. So, notice. Brian has the kettlebells loaded in front of him. A lot of people will have their arms on the side here. And I don't know why people do it this way. It looks really uncomfortable. Uh, but we're kind of missing the point here of doing the whole front rack position. So when we have the front rack position, the kettlebells are out in front of Brian. He has to focus on bracing with his core here and keeping his upper back tight. And then he squats down. Nice, man. Those look pretty good. I so, uh, this is going to be a little bit more challenging than just a basic goblet squat. So if you find that a basic dumbbell goblet squat is easy for you, try the kettlebell front rack. Now, last one. This is, uh, this is I would arguably say this is the hardest version of a goblet squat. Yeah. And absolutely. we're going to we're going to use a sandbag. This is going to be more of like a zerker squat, uh, but still, it's a pretty similar thing here. Come up, kind of like a just a bear hug. Same rules apply though. Brace my core, keep my upper back tight. Come straight down. Now there's a lot of other little things here you can do with these. Uh, you, know, you can do narrow stance, wide stance. Uh, if you have like a squat wedge or mats, you can raise your heel to get more forward knee travel to emphasize your quads more. Amber, how about you just uh, speak up? You can Wait. also move the weight away from you rather than keeping it close to you, and that will create more of a challenge in the entire movement. Ooh, yeah. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though. <laughs> so, uh, it's too damn high! Yeah. <laughs> On to the next exercise there. Next variation we're going to go over is the rear foot elevated split squat. Uh, and Branson is going to demonstrate this movement today. Uh, if you have this implement at your gym, awesome. Uh, this is just for that back extension. If you don't have this, you can use your hamstring curl machine. Any, anything with a roller. Yeah. If you don't have any of this, a bench works just fine. Um, but for the sake of the video, we're going to use our back extension here. That's just because of comfort, mainly. So, so Ranson is going to place one foot back and it's noticed how it's nice and cradled here on the pad. Again, it's for comfort. It feels a lot nicer on the foot to be in this position. Uh, we're going to discuss a few variations of the split squat. First one I want to focus on is more of a vertical shin. So Ranson is going to move his foot more forward and as he goes down to the split squat, see how vertical his shin is? This is going to hit a lot more glute in the movement. And it's going to allow him to fire his 
glutes a lot more <laughs> actively throughout the entire song. <laughs> Good. Yeah, we we'll cramp. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's hot. Okay. Next variation going over, we are going to talk more about uh, knee travel. So more of a knee over toe movement, and that's going to get a lot more quad focus. So down deeper, as you can tell. It's also going to stretch out your other quad quite a bit, the one that's yes. in the back. So coming out here, not only are you working this leg, but your other leg is getting a great stretch in it. So if you have any kind of like tight knees or like knee pain, this could be good. Mm -hmm. um, a few things to talk about are where you're going to hold your dumbbells. Um, if you want to go ipsilateral, contralateral, ipsilateral being same side, contralateral being on the opposite side of the front leg. Um, if you want to hit more glute, you're going to put it on the ipsilateral side, so same side. If you want to hit more adductor, focus on contralateral or inside. Um, you can load this up really heavy with sandbags or even in a goblet position. You can even load it up with a barbell. But the split squat is an excellent variation for getting you to a really heavy back squat. Yeah. What you doing? Lunges. How about you doing walking? I can't. But I bet you guys can. Alright. So you want us to talk about them? Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. All right, so last exercise of the day, we're gonna show you guys walking lunges. So another really easy to perform exercise. You can do it with just about anything. You don't even have a gym. You can grab a fucking log and you can do walking lunges with it. So very versatile exercise. Amber is gonna show you guys how to do them. So uh, like, like the same earlier with the gobble squats, there's a lot of different ways we can load this exercise. We can use, sorry, were you saying something, Nancy? It was hot. Ha! Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we can do a normal goblet. We can do a normal goblet squat position. We can hold the dumbbells down at our sides. Uh, we can hold uh, sandbag, all that shit. So uh, we're going to show you the basic version. We're going to hold the front rack position with the with the with the dumbbell. Ooh, <laughs> tricky, tricky. That's what happens when you when you think that when you think you, 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 you do, but you didn't. All right. So there's a few different ways we can perform a lunge, right? So. Uh, depending on what your focus is and your programming, if you want to hit more quads, glutes and hamstrings, things like that. So if Amber was wanting to focus more on, uh, on her quads here in a walking lunge, she would step forward and she would step straight forward and she would let that lead knee come over her, over her toes as much as she can when she steps. And then she would repeat that with the other leg as well. Now the way I like to have my, uh, my lifters perform their walking lunges and I do this as well, I'm kind of makes this walking lunge a little bit more bang for your buck and uh, this will be a lot easier to uh, show from the front here. I'll just have to do it without any weight. Uh, when we step forward, we want to almost step outward, right? So she's going to come forward, she's going to step out, and as she comes down, she's really going to focus on opening up this hip and opening up that back leg hip too. Now this is going to get a lot more glutes involved and it's going to make this a much more hip focused exercise. And we're going to really be able to take the hip through its full range of motion as we go through step to step. So it makes it a much more versatile exercise and you get a lot more benefits out of it. So you have anything you want to add to that? Uh, what's really important is to actually focus on stacking of your pelvis in this one as well as your ribs. Um, also going through, like going back to the split squats, uh, we want to ensure that we are stacking our pelvis underneath us and not arching that back as we go into that lunge. So ribs down, pelvis stacked. And our torso is going to be a little bit more angled, can be straight upright, and we still need to maintain that torso, that's really important. And that's why it's important to have these other implements when we're doing these exercises, because if I have a kettlebell, or two kettlebells, and I throw these up into a front rack, I am forced to brace my core down and stack my hips underneath me as I step forward, so... And you don't want to keep this movement by leaning back. Right. So. That's where all these other different implements and variations of this come into play. Depending on what you're trying to focus on, you can implement all these other things. Kettlebell sandbags, holding a kettlebell on one side, things like that. So depending on what you're wanting to focus on, you can throw all these other things in with a really simple movement that you can literally implement anywhere. So there you go, guys. Walking lunges. Hey, how'd you guys beat the heat? So she beat it. That sounds questionable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. Anyways, uh, thanks for coming back. We did our favorite accessories Jim Strength represents for squats. Damn, that was dumb. Um, so, it's hopefully fun. you guys have fun. 
It was pretty informative. Some really simple movements. There's some added. It's the basics. Flair. It's the basics. Yeah. yeah. But the basics are what you build the foundation on to build the house. Yep. So there you go. Uh, next week, come back. We'll do accessories on bench. And when we'll do generation strikes favorite. Yeah. When it's not hot. Till then, uh, you could get in a freezer and stay cool. Yeah. In the cooler. Oh. <laughs> Don't be afraid to lose. Ha, 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 ha.